This is a video to help you through the MyOpen Math uh, question for nodal analysis and using matrix methods. Um, I'm use this is a screen right here of the one of the questions. And please, before you attempt these problems, read the chapter on nodal analysis and the appendix on the matrix methods. All questions will relate to this circuit right here. So the first part is write the nodal, nodal analysis for node 2 in terms of the the currents defined. All right. And so we can see right at node 2 IR1 equals IR2. So all you have to do is type in IR1 equals IR2. All right, we can preview and the syntax is okay. All right, then you do that for node 3 and then you what are what is IR1, IR2, IR3 in terms of the nodal voltages and resistances? And we can see just by looking at that that IR1 equals V1 minus V2 divided by R1. And you do that for IR2, IR3. Then we go back and rewrite these nodal equations in terms of Ohm's law. So that would be IR1. I'm not going to do that one for you. And you do the next row. All right. Then you have to rewrite the nodal equations at node 2 in the form that is used for um, nodal calculations. So in that case, all right, we have V2 times 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus V3 times 1 divided by R3, excuse me, and I believe in this instance, in fact, it's a minus. Um, now, you could put the V3 here and the V2 there, but you really want to start having the lower numbered nodes to the left and the higher numbered nodes to the right so that these G values match up. Because right now, this part right here, V2 times R1 over R2 uh, plus 1 over R2, that's effectively 1 over R11 times uh, V2. And that this value here goes into G11. This value here goes into G12 one, two, and so on. Um, you can get the right values of the nodal voltages and have the incorrect values of the Gs, or you could have them opposite sign, or you can have them mixed up, and you can still get the correct voltages, but it, you won't get the correct intermediate answers unless you follow this um, procedure. I've looked into try to programming uh, seeing what your answer is and then recalculating everything um, I can just show you the code used to generate this question after that and it's a bit much so then uh, in this case R1 300 R2 50 R3 500 ohms and V1 then calculate what is I1 what is I2 one and the various um, other parameters all right Yep, there's no current source I1 there. It turns out that it's V1 divided by R1. Again, please read the chapter um, so that you understand this notation before attempting the problem. Once you do that, you calculate the determinant, determinant 1, determinant 2, and then uh, divide this determinant by the other, uh, the G matrix determinant, and you can get V2, same for V3. Um, there is a 
written help button that you can click and I have an Excel file that has all these things calculated out and all you have to do is type in the numbers so that you can check your work yep you can game this homework there's nothing I can do about it but um, I really like you to learn it there's also an LT spice file that you can run that will spit out the voltages and the currents and we can close that now um, like I said you have to kind of follow there's more than one matrix that will create the correct answer but only one set of G values uh, that my open math will say as correct even though the final two voltages would uh, you can get the right answer. I'll just show you the code used to generate this problem and it's it's all that and I have to start putting in some if statements that I'm not quite sure I'd ever finish this problem uh, so I thought just make a video for you. Um, that's pretty much it.